This is Death and Life by Gustav Klimt. Completed in 1915 after seven years, it might perhaps be the perfect representation of Klimt's artistry and why over 100 years later, we're still struck by its magnificence. Klimt was a deeply private character who chose to speak through his work rather than his voice, stating, whoever wants to know something about me as an artist, the only notable thing, ought to look carefully at my pictures and try to see in them what I am and what I want to do. His visual style is so strong, so full of expressive colors, movements swirling and spiraling, that it hides a strange composition from which it is conceived. It helps to convey Klimt's very raw and heavy themes, often eroticizing topics of death, love, and intimacy. The canvases are beautiful to look at, but what's more is they are felt gracefully by our eyes and within our hearts. It's like we know we should feel a sentiment of sadness, but Klimt doesn't afford us the opportunity for even a split second. He presents burdened topics, but dares you to enjoy them instead. His contemporaries at the time touched on the topic of death too. Edvard Munch and Egon Schiele created visions of death in their own styles, often represented grimly. Its touch ever impending and unavoidable. Klimt, however, painted death with a more uplifting vision, one of hope and reconciliation. Inspired by the mosaics of San Vitale, when Klimt traveled to Ravenna in 1903, death and life was originally painted with a golden background, a signature we have come to associate with Klimt's most famous works and an inspiration that gave way to his golden period. At its first showing in the 1911 International Art Exhibition in Rome, the Golden Death and Life won the coveted first prize. However, after its fifth exhibition, Klimt decidedly changed the background to gray to more accurately depict the contrast between life and death. In Death and Life, we see the figure of death on the left, classically depicted, covered in a dark robe of crosses holding a baton. On the right, in contrast to death, lies a portrayal of existence, struggles and suffering, but also love and resilience. A vision of the human spirit. Here lies life, young and old, placed on a bed of flowers, true to Klimt's oeuvre of Art Nouveau style. The most forefront subject on the right is a baby that is being held by a woman. Despite death lurking on the side, maliciously smiling, we can only see pleasure on the faces of the group of people on the right. A sort of serenity. Instead of feeling threatened by the figure of death, they seem to disregard it, emanating love towards one another instead. Perhaps this newfound serenity is rooted in Klimt's own awareness of his own age and the ever-shrinking proximity to death that it brings. He passed away a few years after completing this piece, having suffered a stroke. Perhaps it is through this work that Klimt eased his worries surrounding death, accepted his mortality, and embraced his fate. In Death and Life, we see that the circle of life will continue to persist. Death may be able to take individuals away from their existence, but life itself forever eludes his grasp. <laughs>